For the 2023 Blue Devils, we chose to explore the last chapter of one of our great artists, Henri Matisse, his life and his work. The show is entitled The Cutouts. The idea to do a show referencing Matisse's work with cutouts has sort of been around for a while and how to do it was always the question. It sort of spoke to us this year through the use of color and the use of cutouts as props and bringing all those things together to really explore what was happening with Matisse. Matisse was a, a very famous and groundbreaking visual artist. Um, from Fauvism to Modernism, he explored uh, many areas in painting and sculpture uh, that were far beyond what anyone was thinking at the time. And with another group of artists, certainly revolutionized what we think of as modern art. Later in his life, Matisse became ill with abdominal cancer and was bedridden and had to find a new way to explore his own creativity. And thus, while he was bedridden, decided to work with scissors and colored paper and began to cut shapes and began to assemble those shapes into collage form and decorative art forms. And it became a whole new way of thinking about what that could be. And Matisse certainly continued being one of the great colorists of all time. Uh, his use of color and his willingness to dive into color and to paint with color and to cut into color and carve into color um, is pretty extraordinary. And it was certainly something that was very inspiring for us. It's impossible to tell an entire story in its um, complete totality and with every detail. So we had a challenge with Matisse because it you know, this was an extraordinary human being, an extraordinary visual artist, and the challenge was to figure out which parts of the story could be translated into our visual art of music and motion. So we had to really highlight and use a microscope to dive into certain points along the way. The first part of the show is entitled Rise. First of all, we wanted to acknowledge that even through Matisse's illness and even when he was bedridden, that he rose up. There was a, a, a real awakening to something that could be brand new. Once we really bring the show to life, um, Matisse rising up and creating again, um, that it's time to really explore what that was that he was doing. And it was cuts and shapes. So we explore cuts and shapes through form, through our bodies, um, and, and, then, and the motion of those, and the way the music becomes a real worker kind of business. Um, there's a drive and an energy that expresses this new inspiration that Matisse had. Once we highlight the basics of cuts and shapes, which along with the props and even the costuming play a big part. And you'll see references to scissors through the program um, along with that, because the act of, of painting with scissors is really pretty extraordinary. The third part of the show is Icarus. One of Matisse's most famous works that's a cutout is Icarus and Icarus floating in the sky above what we think are stars. And one in the research, I found that many people thought this referenced, the stars themselves referenced bombs going off during World War II. Matisse's wife and his daughter were part of the French resistance. Um, so you'll hear Charles de Gaulle speaking, a very famous speech to the French people um, during that time, and we explore what that moment in Matisse's life must have been like not knowing where his wife was, not knowing where his daughter were, and um, how art kept progressing even through this time. And the fourth part of the show is the chapel. Our next stage in exploration becomes a, one of um, the greatest things Matisse has ever done. He took a chapel, 
in France, from the walls to the stained glass windows to the vestments that uh, you know the clergy would wear. Um, every part of it was Matisse, and he's often called it his masterpiece. It's it's quite environmental. Once you're in it, you're engulfed in Matisse's world. And it was at a time when he was reflecting on his own life and what that means. And with someone who had such a rich life, such as Matisse, the song Both Sides Now really came to mind for me because he would have looked at life from both sides and seen everything that a human being could possibly experience. So that chapel, his great masterpiece, seemed a fitting way to bring us into a ballad. And the fifth part is chromatic composition, which I call a big celebration. It's a celebration of everything we've learned in the process of developing this project. And it's a celebration of what we all can enjoy through color and music and movement and dance and shape and how all those things can come together to give us a unified experience. The exploration part for the show when it comes to music, and it has everything to do with Dave Clyde, our music director also, because he has to translate what my sort of ideas that are floating in a million different directions are. Um, but musically, you want to fit the emotion of the moment, because we're in a situation where it's impossible for us to replicate something that has already happened. Realistically, it's just impossible to do that. So we have to view something that may have already happened through the filter of our own lives and our own time. So that's why modern music is often used by us, as well as you know referencing past um, musical pieces. But those can come together to express the emotion of the moment, the excitement of that Matisse must have had when he had this idea and shapes were emerging and he was putting them together. So music plays such an important role because it's the psychology of the moment that we're in, whether it's World War II in France and maybe what that felt like. We can only speculate, but we can through music, hopefully, you know, strike those chords in everyone emotionally that would bring you more information about what might have happened.